Hi everyone. So today I'm going to uh, talk about the how to short the object record within the FX class. So in short, I'm going to uh, explain about how to use the comparable interface. Okay. So let's get started. Now, uh, before uh, uh, start, before starting, how to use the comparable interface? Let's understand the business process business problem here so let's understand the when to use the uh, comparable and why to use the comparable okay so uh, let me uh, give you an example let let's say you have a employee record okay let's say uh, you have a employee object okay and in this particular employee object holds the three property let's say you have this you have the uh, name you have the uh, age and you have the uh, let's say uh, a skill set level okay so uh, so uh, let's say uh, let's take an example uh, you wanted to sort the uh, employee record on the basis of skill set level or on the basis of age or on the basis of name then in that case how to uh, proceed proceed so uh, with this case you will have to go with the you you cannot use the default sorting method of the list whatever comes with the list class from the uh, apex documentation okay you cannot use the uh, uh, default mode of the sorting in that case you will have to override the existing uh, override the existing uh, mode of the sorting okay now in uh, to achieve this thing uh, let's uh, uh, let's 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 say that we have an employee class and within the employee class a, as i explained that uh, we have a uh, three properties let's let's say we have a uh, we have a uh, uh, public we have a uh, public string name and we have a uh, integer integer age we have a uh, public integer age and we have a public integer skill set level okay now on um, whenever whenever this record gets created so i'm just going to assign the uh, assign the value pass on pass from the constructor uh, to this particular uh, this proper this variables of the class okay so we have the constructor let's say uh, let's say we have to add the parameter over the constructor and we have a integer of the age and we have an integer of the skill set level and i'm assigning this these variables to uh, the class level variables okay so to assign this thing we have to use the this keyword and this dot page is equal to h and let's say this dot name is equal to name and this dot skill set level is equal to skill set level okay now whenever whenever the employee record got instantiated and we pass the uh, name age and the skill set level it will assign that particular value to this reference okay this variables okay and uh, let's say we have the another class and which will be basically executing the main logic to uh, short the uh, list okay so let's say we have the class so we have the class called uh, so this is also a custom class and uh, uh, within this particular class we have the main method okay so let's let's create the main method public static void main so this particular main method will originally going to assign the values within the list and short the values okay 
so let's say i will be adding the list of i will be adding the uh, employee records to the list of employees to the list of employees okay so i will be creating the list of employee here so list of employee new list of employee and within this particular list i will be adding the employee object okay so let's say list of employee dot add and i will be adding the object of the employee class so new employee within this employee i will be passing the parameters on the basis of the parameters that i declared over here so first parameter is a name which is a string then age which is an integer then skill set which is also an integer okay so i will be passing let's say name called a name and comma the age will be let's say a uh, 32 and the skill set level let's say a four okay so i'll be passing the couple of more employer records to the same list so i will be adding let's say jake as a name let's say stock let's say chain let's say hello so okay so the i'm also adding the age and the skill set level as well let's say i'm adding the age for this particular employee as uh, 24 i'm adding the age of this particular employee as 45 i'm adding, adding the age of this particular employee as 52 and so on let's say 40 and the skill set level let me change the skill set level as well to keep it as a four keep it make it as a five okay now if we do the list of employee dot short like this way okay and try to execute this particular main method by using the anonymous window then in that case it will be giving the uh, error it will say that it will not be able to short the object right now okay so in this case what we will have to do we will have to implement the comparable interface and override the interface method that is a com compare to method okay so let's go on to the employee class and within this employee class let's implement implements the comparable interface okay the moment you will implement the comparable interface then in that case you will have to also override the public the return of this particular compared to method is integer and come compare to and which will take object as an parameter okay so let's say object so come here to object here okay all right here we go so now let's understand the concept over here so this particular com compared to now you have the control to override the default mode of the shorting okay now with the compare to you can basically short on the basis of your uh, on the basis of your logic okay let's say by default the list of integer let's say you let's take an example let's say you have the list of integer and you have added couple of integer values to it okay and now you wanted to uh, do the list of integer dot short it will be basically shorting the list of integer on the ascending order now if you wanted to do this the same shorting 
in the descending order then in that case how to do that so in that case you can use this particular uh, implementation okay you can use the override of the compare to override the compare to method of the comparable interface and implement the logic as per as your criteria so in our criteria we will be sorting the object on the basis of the age okay so now in that case you will we will have to write the statement that is a if statement and within this particular if statement let's say this dot age is greater is greater than the compare to object okay so let's say compare to dot age okay so now here is the thing this that we are passing the compare to as an object but we are comparing this particular object with an employee object okay so in this case we will have to type cast this particular compare to object as well so let's say i'm type type casting this particular compare to object to the employee object employee and uh, let's say i'm making this compare to employee is equal to type cast to employee which object to type cast compared to object okay so basically this will be type casting the object to the employee object okay now if this dot age is greater than the compare to object let's return the any positive number okay so this positive number can be anything this positive number can be 1 2 3 4 and so on make sure the upper limit will uh, will lies the inner boundary of the integer limit okay so let's say uh, whenever this particular criteria happen so i'll be returning to the plus 1 okay which means that this particular age is greater than the age which is coming from the object okay now in the same way we will have to do the less than scenario as well let's say if the age is less than the compared to object then in that case we will have to return the minus one okay else return the zero which means the age is equal to both the object okay all right here we go now we have the main method Provided over here, and we have the list of short values here over here. Now let me print the list of a string. So string. Now also let me also print the list of employees before sorting and the after sorting. So let's say I'm adding the system dot debug statement, and uh, debug will be saying that the list of employee before sort and this will be the list of employee let me add the add operator and terminate the statement and also this printing the list of employee after the short after the short okay Let me save it and let me deploy this particular class to my org. It's taking a little bit time to deploy the code. Okay, now it's got failed actually. Now let me see the error. What's the error it is saying? So it's saying that variable age does not exist. 
variable age does not exist in the line number 14 and 17. So basically, I just added the compare to object over here. So I need to add the compare to employee object here. Okay. So that's my mistake. Okay. Now so I saved this particular class and I am de again deploying this particular class to my org. This time I hope it will be success. <laughs> Now it's done. Also, I will be deploying this particular main class as well. It's done. Now I will be basically executing this particular method from the anonymous window. Okay. So I'll be again using the VS code to execute the anonymous window. But if you guys want, you can use the Salesforce standard developer console to add your code or to uh, uh, execute the anonymous, uh, uh, anonymous code block from the from there. Okay. So I'll be using the VS code itself. Okay. So to execute this thing, let me call the class name and let me call the my main method. Okay, so I will be cutting this thing, saving this thing. And uh, so if you wanted to execute the anonymous code block, so you need to go to the, go to the uh, SFDX folder. And within the SF, SFDX folder, you will find the tool. And within the tool, you will be find the, find you, you can see the tempfx.input file, okay? So within this particular tempfx, file you can execute your anonymous code blocks okay so i'll be pasting so basically i just uh, calling my main method method from the execute custom sorting class apex class okay now in order to execute this thing we will have to execute the command let's say i'm, I'm pressing the control p button and i will be executing the sfdx execute anonymous apex code with editor content okay so it will open the output whenever the your code anonymous code block will uh, get successfully executed now in that in our case it's got successfully executed now i will be uh, finding my uh, debug statement okay so within the output panel i will be pressing the control f and i will be pasting the value from here okay so if you see that this particular list is printed before the short short shorting okay so the first employee is age equal to 32 the next employee is age equal to 24 then the next is 45 so this print this particular list got printed in the order in which you have inserted okay so if you see that the first way the first record that we have inserted whose age is 32 okay so it's it printed basically the first record at the first time now if we see the after short values sorry let me copy this particular statement and this is a of after short okay so now if you see the list the first employee whose age is 14 is printed first okay the second record whose age is 24 the third one is whose age is 32 and the next one is whose age, whose age is 45 and the next record is whose age is 52 so we can see the list whichever that we have we printed over here is in the shorted format and it got shorted on the basis of the employee's age okay so this is this is from uh, my end as of now and thanks for watching this particular video i will be keep posting the much more concepts and much more use small concept 
of the apex to the youtube tutorial keep watching my youtube to uh, youtube videos and thanks